What's up? It's me, LA, pronounced like LA, like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm breezy. Coming at you live and fooling me <laughs> on this fine, glorious. Uh, uh, I'm looking right at the notes, y'all. It is March 2nd, a Tuesday. March 2nd to Tuesday, and uh, welcome to Counting My Blessings. Uh, number two, day two of the month. Number two of day two of the month. Hey. <laughs> ah, okay, um, this blessing just kind of like um, set itself up because, and not set itself up for failure. I don't know why people say you just set yourself up for failure. And of course, I learned that in the black community. They can't never say anything positive. I grew up knowing I could write a book, and I might as well. Of all the negative sayings that <laughs> I grew up saying, hear my people say, okay, so. That's one kind of my blessing already. That's another book idea. If you haven't bought any of my books, please do. But moving forward, I would like to say previously from the um, first movie I made yesterday, it was about a book that I was telling you about that um, helped me spark up the idea to even want to make this video series that I'm making now of this fine month of March. <laughs> I'm so obvious that I'm pre-recording. <laughs> okay, so it's a little joke I have going on. It, technically, I'm recording this this video, this series, in the month of February. It is actually um, February 17th, 2021. But I'm working ahead. <laughs> And I'm well off into March, so I'm actually making March 2nd video today, 2021. So, to go off of what I was saying from yesterday's video, I found the book, y'all, so I'm counting my blessings for this day, March 2nd, Tuesday, because after I uploaded yesterday's video and typed in the description and such, I had more free time after making, um, prepping for dinner. That's why in the description yesterday I said I didn't have that much time dedicated to look for the book to put in the first video because I had other things to do. I had to meal prep and um, clean the living room, get that set up. So after I did all that, I was able to spend about five, ten more minutes and I found it. I was like, thank you, Lord, because I was like, please help me find the name of this book, not only for the video for continuity purposes, but for myself, because it was a good book. And now that I found it, I am probably going to buy it again. What's the name of the book? Well, if you just hold on or fast forward, you'll see. So I found it and it is called List Yourself. List making as the way to self-discovering. A pro, provocative. Well, now this is not an erotic book and the word provocative sound like it's on the borderline of being X-rated. This is not that. Unless some of the questions they're asking are that. But then again, that's a self-discovery book. It's, still not one of those weird erotic type books so why would they say provocative but it says a provocative probing and personal expedition into your mind heart and soul written by Eileen Seglove and Paul Bob Villick I will have their correct spellings down in the description because I do not think I said their names correctly. This book was published in 2008 and I thought it was 2018. I got the eight part right. So, and this book is hardcover and it has 285 pages. I thought it had 365 pages. So if you were to do an exercise out of this book um, one a day, you would be able to get it done in less than a year. 
And if you need to take a few days off in between, you still could because once again, it's 285 pages long and there's 365 days in the year to my knowledge if that hasn't changed because everything else is changing around us. And I digress and fold my notes and place them nice and neatly across my lap and continue on with day two of counting my blessings. I'm happy for that because now that gives me more stuff to talk about in the years to come or let's just keep it light in the months to come in regards to providing you with new content on my platform via YouTube. So I am thankful for that, that I found the book, thus giving me more stuff to talk about in the near future. Plus, it's like the book came back to me. It's all coming back to me. Oh, Sandy girl. Oh, Sandy. Oh, you know that song Celine Dion sang? She held that note for like five hours. I'm like, girl, I'm looking at the time. <laughs> hey, if you want to get breathing exercises in, throw in the Celine Dion. CD, yeah, I said CD, and uh, <laughs> if you want to learn to hold your breath underwater a long time, just try belting out any of her songs. Good mercy, and she still got it, and she's still alive. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I'm to thank you for not having Celine Dion go during this COVID. Now I know a list of people who can go bye 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 into the great heavenly sky but let's not go there let's be happy <laughs> I'm thankful that I know how to hold my tongue <laughs> maybe that'll be tomorrow's video so this is fun and I encourage you guys to um, count your blessings for the month of March do one find one thing to be grateful for big or small long as it's positive every day and join me on this and put your comments down make a a video response video along with mine or however you get tagging like you know i'm doing the la tv count your blessings challenge and we're going to do this for the whole month of march and according to what oprah winfrey said <laughs> According to what Oprah said, it should make y'all the rest of your life even better. <laughs> so let's try it out. Who's with me? I hear crickets. I see no typing or any words in the comments. I don't see a thumbs up. I don't see a you go girl. Don't see a just checking in or I just subscribed. Well, fourth video. Count your blessings. How I learned to celebrate and appreciate myself. Thank you for the love and support that you've given me all through these almost 10 years of YouTube. Like, share, subscribe, and comment below. And once again, count your blessings. I am.